your opinion a quick, a quick one here just a minute icc is 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 indicting only african leaders what's what's your take oh, on that don't, don't get me started <laughs> i because i do not subscribe to that school of thought yes that school of thought yes i can very quickly say and, and incidentally i'm saying this as an outsider to the court i am not a me- i'm not a judge of the icc of you're, you're the icj no yeah. court mm. but as a judge and as an african as a woman as a person who's lived on this continent and as a person who has some experience in trying war crimes and crimes against humanity trials i can say that these courts are set up for the benefit of victims for the benefit of victims victims of conflict victims of war crimes victims of crimes against humanity so for me i i focus more on the justice for the victims oh. you see i do not focus more on the suspects that are brought okay given i mean it, it's true that maybe a lot more could be done to allay the fears of those that subscribe to this fear that the court was set up to to oh, for african us. leaders yes. but you see i think we are as africans being hypocritical because when a suspect who's not a leader an african suspect who's indicted Nobody says anything in their defense. Is it because they're nobodies? Take for instance um uh, Kenya. No, no, no. This, this recent um gentleman from Dominic Ongwen. Exactly. Yes. Ongwen was was recently taken to the Hague. Nobody complained about that. Is it because he's not a leader in this country? Is it not true that he was with the LRA and that he played a part in some of the atrocities? It is true. So why is in that case is the ICC not being criticized because they're doing what they're supposed to do there are victims lined up in the north that are waiting to see this man tried that are waiting to tell their story out to the public to be heard and for me that's the way things should be the court is doing its work whether it's a question of whatever suspect whether it's, it's it's the former president of Ivory Coast or whoever as long as the su- suspect took part or is suspected to have taken part in atrocities that happened somewhere on the African continent those victims deserve justice and at the end of the day a certain suspect may be acquitted it has happened before but the the, the court should be allowed to play its role just like any national court if if you keep criticizing the court for the kind of accused persons that appear before it you you're losing you know you're taking your, your eyes off of the board one time actually you're gonna want it to pull out with kenya you know <laughs> I, I i i'm sorry but i don't subscribe you don't that. subscribe to that That's just different just to share your comments what, what do you have to say about uh, icc focusing mostly on african leaders well um i do share the opinion that i think certainly a court should be judged by its uh protection of victims um and certainly i know the work that it's been doing has been protecting victims um i do know that you know even from the united states perspective the icc is controversial and, and we are not a part of it um but i certainly um personally would like to see the icc um handle more prosecutions that involve protecting girls that are involved in um, human trafficking and sexual assault uh, throughout the world. That's I what would love to see. to see if there were an international girl court uh, portion of the ICC or a separate <laughs> girl court because atrocities are, are, are happening throughout the world, not only in times of conflict, but you know even in times of alleged peace in countries, there are, are just tremendous atrocities that are happening and human trafficking is becoming a billion dollar industry throughout the world that's affecting countries you know that are well resourced and those that are not so i would love to see um, there to be more focus on international justice for girls